I have a couple of cool new items in my inventory. First of all, a Karambit Gamma Doppler. This is a phase 3 and it has a 0.01 float. Then we have a very pixelated looking Katowice 2015 Hollow Foil Capsule. An M4 Print Stream with 4 Liquid Fire Hollows. Pretty standard Statrack Deagle Print Stream. Nothing particularly special about this one, but it's just a cool skin. And finally, a Glock Dragon Tattoo in Statrack with a float of 009. Now unfortunately, these skins didn't just spawn in my inventory, and no, this time I actually didn't just buy them. I got them as part of a trade, and this definitely was my biggest trade in terms of item for item trades. Now you might ask, all these expensive items for a Statrak Kukri Crimson Web? Well yes, but this is no ordinary Kukri Crimson Web, it is Statrak Factory New. At this point in time, only two of them exist, and the one I had was the 0.0666 float one. I had originally gotten this insane collector's item as part of a cash trade, and now I can finally say how much I paid for it, and the total was $3,000, including $800 via PayPal, and this amazing combo worth about $2,200 at the time. Are you looking for cheap low float skins for trade-ups? Check out today's sponsor, Skins Monkey. It's the most convenient trading bot site where you don't have to overpay for low floats. I found this 0.08 op elite build and this 0.09 M4 Tooth Fairy and the tradable M4 was delivered to my inventory instantly. If you apply code TechSavvy, you get a 5% deposit bonus and you also get a $5 trading bonus when you start trading. Don't worry if you don't have any skins, just head over to freebies and you'll find three giveaways all the way up to a gut knife gamma doppler. So use my link in the description to start finding deals on low float skins today. So the Korean bit that I got for it is a Phase 3 Gamma Doppler. The inspect side corner is pretty bad, but the play side corner, ooh, it's looking good. Now, I don't believe that this is a diamond gem or anything like that. I don't even know if those are a thing anymore with the most recent Doppler updates. So I'm pretty sure this knife is not worth anything over market price, which is around $1,990 on CS Float. Item number two is this ESL1 Katowice 2015 Challengers Hall foil capsule, including the Titan Hollow and the Vox Hollow. Nope, I'm not that big of a degenerate. Jeez, man, have some faith in me. Next, we have this sick M4 print stream craft with 4x liquid fire hollows. It looks great, but imagine how good it would look if the pearlescence of the M4 was still a thing in CS2. The M4 by itself is worth around $140 on CS float, and the stickers are $30 each. So assuming it has around 10 to 15% sticker price, this craft is worth somewhere in the range of $150 to $160. Now the next skin is the Statrak Desert Eagle Print Stream and Field Tested. It's worth a little under $50, but there's nothing particularly special about this skin. It's a cool skin, it's easy to sell. That's pretty much it. And the final skin, this Glock Dragon Tattoo Statrak Factory New was almost a deal breaker. Let me explain why. If you look at the float, this is a double zero float. Now the person who wanted my Kukri knife had like five or six of these in his inventory, but only this one was double O. And he really didn't want to go with the double O one. But I had to put my foot down and I told him, unless I get the double O Glock, there's no deal. It was actually quite funny. Now, I'm not gonna say who this person was. I mean, if you really want to find out, it's very easy to. He was a tough negotiator. He really, really didn't want to come up to my price of $3,350. And of course, I didn't want to come down to his initial offer of $2,500 because I bought it for $3,000. Now, there is one thing that gave me the advantage here. The fact that there's only two of these in existence. I own one and the other one is in a private inventory probably owned by a Chinese collector, means that I have a crazy amount of leverage. And I don't think I abused this leverage, I was asking for barely over what I had purchased for, it's not like it was a crazy outrageous price asking for, I don't know, $10,000. I was simply trying to at least break even slash make a little bit of profit over what I bought it for. And since this item is so rare, it's not like there's a market price or a going rate for these things. And basically my point is that I did get to set 
the price for it, but I tried to be very reasonable about it, not asking for too much. He unfriended me right after accepting the trade offer, so I can't show the Steam chat, and I also can't show it due to just privacy reasons, but I had a good laugh reading it back after he accepted the trade. <laughs> we said final offer so many times, that's from both of us, <laughs> and we said goodbye like literally six times in one chatting session, <laughs> but of course, Every time after like 20 minutes or so, he kept coming back to me, either offering more or trying to socially engineer me into accepting his lower offer. But in the end, I won. I got these items, totaling up to $3,104. So after I sell them on CS Float and cash out into my bank account, I'm pretty much gonna be exactly breaking even on the Kukri Knife Stat Track Factory New Crimson Web. He also called me a rat, which is not exactly the best way to end off a trade. That being said, I suppose we both are happy. I finally managed to sell this incredibly illiquid but insane collectible, I guess for a profit of zero dollars, but honestly, I'm just glad I owned it and he now has it in his collection. But before I end off this video, just one final note of wisdom. If you're trading and someone has come up in price, that does not mean the other party is obligated to come down in price. If someone doesn't want to sell below a certain price, they don't have to. That's just how trading works. Best of luck.